Yo, what's going on guys, Dwarves here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel today. We're taking a look at Rocket Pass 4. It is officially out. Now, I know I've already showcased quite a few items, but that's because I've been able to get a hold of some of the items early using a mod. So, I've got some painted showcases of some of the goal explosions, and all the special edition wheels are all showcased on the channel already. But now we're going to look at all of Rocket Pass. So, we obviously have challenges, as you can see, but let's take a, th take a look through every single item on the Rocket Pass 4. So starting off here, we have uh, the Mudcat, which is just a your normal, you know, your body, which you get right at the start for purchasing it. Then we have uh, the Flower Topper, which is fair enough. It's from the Free Pass. It looks kind of cool. We'll go with some car designs. We then have Scratched, which is a limited player banner, which looks pretty, pretty cool. So you got this Rusty Rally sort of theme at the start which eventually i'm pretty sure he's going to change into a more futuristic theme but here we have fiber optic which is the boost which i like i think this is definitely a good boost for a rocket pass the other ones were a bit bad but this one's definitely good we then have the venom ride uh player banner which again looks really really cool we have a topper which is a roof rack which again fits the rally theme so if you get that on your mudcat i think it would look really really good we can make some rally car designs we then have a Oh, this is a really cool trail. It's tracks on the floor, so it doesn't even show up behind your car like that much. It's just like actual tracks on the floor. I'm definitely going to use that. That's really cool. We then have a title, Drift King, which definitely fits the theme. We then have these uh, Philoscope wheels, uh, or Philoscope, whatever you want to call them. These are the first versions. I believe as you actually progress with these wheels, the second and third version, it will crack open and become a futuristic looking wheel. But this actually kind of fits my car design. I've got the blue and the yellowy color, so that's kind of cool. We then have a Victory Hand Limited Antenna, which is pretty cool, throwing up that sign. We then have uh, Octane Killer Gorilla, which is a decal, just a normal non-animated decal. But it's this sort of barbecue decal, which I think looks cool. We then have um, another Octane decal, Bleep Bleep, which as you can see is this sort of old pixelated it looks like a little old pixelated game that's just that that has nothing to do with this rocket pass i don't really understand maybe it's the transition into the futuristic sort of digital sort of thing as you can see here we have wall breaker one which is the first version of the goal explosion which we saw in the trailer and i already have a painted showcase of this goal explosion we also have a decryptor here on the free rocket pass which makes no sense because decryptors if you don't spend them now uh, what's going to happen to them since they are removing crates? So I can't really wait till we find out what that what happens there. We have a starfish here for no reason. I think the free rocket pass is pretty much just random stuff. Um, no really proper theme. We then have these wheels, the auto automaton wheels, which are really, really cool. This futuristic style. The, the special edition versions of these look really, really cool. We'll get onto that later. Um, actually, I've already got a showcase, so you'll have to look at that for that. But... Octane Metarudia is just a normal decal. This stuff, you know, isn't too exciting, but it is the low tiers. We have a checkered flag, which again goes with the rally theme. We have an engine audio. UTV. That sounds pretty cool. That's like a rally style car. That sounds really, really good. We then have Octane Edge Stars, which again, I can't really say much about. It's just a normal decal. We have the Dominus Whitewash, um, which you can't see very well. I'm sorry. Excuse the the paint finish. It is probably quite annoying, actually. So whereabouts were we? Let's try and find that again. Uh, here we go. So we've done that decal. We're on Whitewash. So as you can see, it's just a paint splatter, which doesn't look very, very nice. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, let's move on to this title here, Death Defender. Pretty cool. Uh, Racer Flames Rocket Boost. That's a very annoying sound. I don't think I'll be using that. You can get that painted though, so I mean, it might look cool in some colours. This wheel's not so cool. It's called Collateral. Um, it kind of reminds me of a poker chip uh, around the edge of the wheel, but then yeah, not nothing too fancy with that wheel. Um, let's have a look. We have a Flowers Boost. Uh, oh no, it's a trail, sorry. Flowers Trail, which as you can see, just stops growing flowers behind your car. That's kind of a cool one. I like that. We then have a Dominus Nightmare Fuel decal, which again, you have little people running away. Um, there's not much I can say about these. FLT wheels, which are just some standard metallic simple wheels. So if you want to use them, go for it. We then have 
I don't even know how you say that, but that is a banner right there, which some people might enjoy. We then have the Mudcat G1, which is a slightly improved version. We've got some lights in the back. I feel like the, the rear end of this car looks really, really cool. It's like two spoilers, a massive sort of boost section, exhaust, that's what you call it. Um, and then we've got this sort of thing on top of the hood here. We have some lights. The lights are very like neon effect. They're, they're quite cool. We then have these wheels, which are really nice. These are very similar to sort of Troikas. Um, and if you actually look, there's an there's sort of arrows on the tread, which look really cool. And if you change the painted version of these, they actually change the arrows as well, which look really, really nice. Uh, we then have Broken Glass, which is a banner. Uh, not forgetting this title, Quick Study, which uh, that makes I don't know why that's in here, but... We then have the antenna, which is Fenrir 1, if you pronounce it like that. It's just a wolf that's kind of lit up and looks really like lightning, electric-y sort of, I don't know. We then have a bell antenna, which makes no noise. I think if that made noise, it would be cooler. We have, we then have these horns, which are golden. I really, really like these, actually. These are kind of cool. I definitely use these in a car design. We then have DRN wheels, which I've already showcased in my video, but these can come special edition. Um, they come special edition infinite wheels and these are really cool. So yeah, these are really nice We jump on to a breakout bomb out That's quite cool actually the explosion at the front and then the missiles coming in. They're really cool. We then have a con Conundrum conundrum decal um, I was struggling to say that at first, but as you can see it's just these cubes that are breaking apart Nothing too fancy. I'm waiting for some of the good decals because you'll see they are nice that's a good audio. Dirt bike. I'm going to be using that. There's not a single bike in Rocket League, but I'm going to be using it. Actually, that, that's a cool idea. Imagine bikes in Rocket League. That'd be awesome. I mean, it would make no sense whatsoever, but it would be awesome. So as you can see here, these are the Philoscope 2s. As you can see, the top half is breaking apart. When we get onto the third version, you'll see the bottom half also break apart. Let's jump over. We've got a floppy disk antenna, which is just bound to get in the way when you're using it. We then have Mudcat Stripes, which is just your classic decal that you need on your your Rocket Pass car. We then move on to the Magnificent title. We then have a Lunchbox, which is a limited topper. Um, Triton Lunchbox. Oh, Aquadome. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Um, moving on. We have High Poly Wheels, which um, obviously are better than Low Poly Wheels. Um, well, not actually. I think low poly wheels were cooler. But yeah, high poly wheels right here. If you don't know what I'm on about, low poly was a wheel from the summer event. We then have this, what's it called? Flame. Flame. What do you even call this? Avatar border. That's the one. We have a flame avatar border. We then have trailblazer, which is a cool uh, title. I'm not too interested in some of these. Obsidian. This is one cool... Very, very cool paint finish. I didn't know this was coming. This is awesome. It's, it's, you get the anodized shine effect, but you get the texture of like actual. This is what obsidian is actually like in real life. So, this sort of, sh these shards, these rocky shards, that's really cool. I'm definitely going to use that in some car designs. Dust Cloud. This is like literally the best goal explosion in this, on my opinion. I've done all the painted versions of this on a separate video if you want to check that out. We then have Small Topper, which, I mean, that looks pretty nice. I, I wouldn't mind one of them. Probably cooking off the off the heat of the car. We then have Racing Star, which is a banner. We then have Flying Carpet, which is a topper, which pff, you can't really say much about. We then have Checkered Flag, which is a banner. Nothing too exciting right here. Oh, 10,000 XP. That's pretty good. Nothing too exciting until I'm pretty sure this might be... This is quite a cool one. Okay, so this is an animated decal, apparently. No, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't see any animation. Ah, there we go. Here it is. So, as you can see, it's like ice freezing over. And on the rear end, it's sort of ice melting. Which I think is cool. My color combination doesn't really make sense. If you make both of these blue, I'm pretty sure it would look like the polar ice caps melting. Uh, Sonic Chaser is a title that you can get, which is... I don't know. I don't know. That's a good engine audio. A rally, definitely another good one. Fits the theme. We then have Shore Striker, another title. Um, Shutterbug is a very strange looking wheel. It's just a camera lens quickly opening and closing, which is cool. 
which is cool. We then have a Cephalo, I'm going to call these Cephalo. That's probably not how they're pronounced, but it's basically an octopus tentacle with the octopus eye in the middle, which these painted are very vibrant and will only fit certain car designs, but looks really, really cool. This next decal I'm going to show you is a really clean one formation as you can see it's these planes flying over i think it's clean definitely one that you could use in some simple car designs if you get the colors right we then have a rally tracks number two which is a limited trail as you can see the tracks are much bigger and much much more noticeable we then have a cannonballer decal which looks really clean actually we have a fish over here like bro what's going on um, but yeah i really like this wavy striped effect i think it looks really really nice we then have the improved uh, horns, which you can see are now on fire, which again look amazing. Imagine this was sort of Dissolver or a uh, universal decal that we're about to see in a few tiers. Um, but yeah, th that's going to look really cool. We then have a Funky Medusa, which I, I think just doesn't look very good at all. We then have a title Flip Lord. We have the Fenrir 2, which now, as you can see, there's a much... There's a storm brewing inside that wolf's brain. We then move on to Hydra Paint, which is not the one that I was talking about to go with these horns. That's that's coming up soon. But Hydra Paint is definitely a really, really cool one. Uh, this psychedelic pattern. I mean, this, this is kind of clean, to be fair. I really like it. We then have Irradiator Wheels, which, again, you can get in Special Edition. Um, but, yeah, these are basically, like, visionary wheels, I think, the style, without an animation. But yeah, when you get the special edition wheels, you'll see they look really, really cool. They have this glass effect. It's really nice. We then have a Fiber Optic 2, which is very, very loud. But as you can see, this is how your, your broadband gets to your house, as you can see, according to Rocket League. We then have Sunstruck, which is a nice animated player banner. This one's animated. I think it looks really nice. We then have this decal, which you saw on my car before the episode even pretty much started. Upstream, literally the, uh, the coolest decal I think we've probably had in the Rocket Pass. Looks amazing. Now, if you can make these colors like uh, red and black or orange and black, you can make it look like a flame. It, it's so good. It's such an amazing decal. They did a good job. And that could probably pass for a black market if they made it one. We then have Paladin, which is a uh, player avatar border. We then have Phyloscope 3, which is a wheel fully fully emerged out of its shell. And as you can see, it's it, it fits my car. It, it looks kind of nice, but not something that I like that much. We then have Wallbreaker 2, which looks really cool if this is your style. However, the painted versions, I'm going to be honest, they look quite cool, but not as cool as uh, the cloud or dust cloud one. So if you want to look at the painted versions, I have a video on the channel. Just click on my channel. You'll see it. It's right near the top. We then have camo wheels, which look better than the special edition version. So the camo wheels right here have a camo effect on the tread. They look awesome. However, the special edition one, you'll have to see for yourself. But they don't look anything like this. And they, they kind of look trash. But we then have a watermelon boost, which, I, I mean, you can see it on screen. It's It's there. It's watermelon. You can hear people crunching on watermelon in the background. And then tier 70, the Mudcat GXT, which I'm seeing for the first time is littered with this neon lights, um, which we see in our pretty much all the rocket passes. Now this painted, I assume when you get it painted, it will change the color of the car and also these lights. But don't take my word for that. I'll have to buy one and change its color to see. But as you can see on the headlights, you get these cool lights, these rally lights, which look awesome. And it's a very nice car with the Octane hitbox, which gives a plus to that. I like these little stickers in the bottom left of the rear end of the car. You can see there's sort of a warning symbol back there, sort of like high voltage, which looks really cool. Um, I'm not too sure about all the stickers. It would be cool, right? If you could, if there was a new option on Rocket League, which is stickers and you could sort of change them. Technically, they're not stickers. They're like floating in front of the car. But it would be nice if you could customize like a few different styles so you didn't have to have this exactly like this every time. Um, there is also a Moai head Easter egg right there. But yeah, guys, this video was very long. I do have to admit that. But we just took a look through the entire Rocket Pass. So by this time, you've probably already seen most of the items on other videos or yourself. 
But for any of you guys that haven't, hopefully um, you can enjoy the Rocket Pass showcase. And let me know, guys, what tier you got in the last Rocket Pass and also which item out of here you've got to pick one was your favorite. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.